my baby, my precious son, does not allow me to stream. Your screams are deafening. And I only have precious little time to get in these recordings within his naps and night nights. The red eyes black dragon is here and he has brought forth the ultimate power. Rank seven exceeds. I have unlocked it here with minimal minuses and minimal bricks to bring you maximum victory. This is Mecha Phantom Beast Red Eyes. All right, my boy, now we're about to get in there with this red eyes spicy deck. And I know what you've been waiting for, that dank deck list, so I shall keep you waiting no longer. But as I transition to the deck list, my boy, I want you to transition down to that like button and subscribe. <laughs> All right, my boys, we have transitioned successfully to the deck list, my boy. And I'm calling this deck from here on out just rank seven because at first I thought this was more of a red eyes deck. Then I thought this was more of a uh, mega phantom beast deck, but I just realized that this is just 100% pure rank seven. It can turn to rank seven OTK if your opponent sets a defense monster with Gaia and of course your red eyes flare or any other exceeds a uh, monster that requires two requirements. So I'll give you the breakdown and the magic of this deck. So first off, we're using peak performance with Seto Kaiba, ironic with our red eyes build, but it serves our purpose. Peak performance allows all dragon and thunder type beasts to get a field power bonus, which is pretty relevant in our uh, Pegasus theme that we got going on here. But that neither here nor there, that's the main reason we are using Maleficent Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now this card is disgusting. If you didn't know what it already does, if you have a field spell on the field, you can just throw a red eyes out your deck and summon this to the field for free. You can only attack with one per turn and you can only control one Malefic per turn. Those two requirements are nothing because in the rank seven exceeds deck, this is a combo extender allowing us to go into our deadly otk by having one more monster to uh summon for free but also it works very well with red eyes fang with chain if you can't get out of um exceeds monster with the red eyes name or an actual red eyes you can always pop the red eyes fang with chain on the malefic red eyes additionally you can use Red Eyes Insight to throw a Malefic uh, monster away. So let's say you used up your combos and for whatever reason, you know there are no more normal Red Eyes in your deck and you know that Malefic is a brick and for some reason, you have Red Eyes Insight in your hand. You can use Insight to pitch Malefic to grab another card and take your duel from there. Because that's really cool about the Red Eyes cards. And I had to start here with Malefic because this was the turning point in the build of this deck. Malefic Red Eyes provides the stability that pre prevents you from bricking and losing. Honestly, what bricks you and kills you is three Red Eyes and, no, and maybe like a Silver Cry. But I mean, that's, you know, it happens. RNG, whatever. Now, let's move on to the next monster that is also another combo piece that works in tandem with our main engine. Here's another card, Lord Gaia. And you can probably wonder why I'm using Lord Gaia because this man has seven levels, my boy. Level seven can be special summoned to the field. And if your opponent special summons while he's on the field, he goes to three Gs. The second effect isn't as relevant, but it's pretty spicy in late game. If you have to use Lord Gaia to, to begin your comeback, basically. Lord Gaia has enough power to sit on the field for just one turn, which is all you need to pop off any of your red eye shenanigans to get that exceeds summon started. Now, Lord Gaia is disgusting when you combine him with the power of Malefic Red Eyes. Go ahead and hit up your rank seven Xyz for your Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon or your Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. But we're not even here to even talk about Xyz yet. I have to tell you about these combo engines 
Before we get into this, my boy. Now the next card we use the special summon. Level seven. Ya boy. Yo motherfucking boy, Cosmo Brian. Cosmic Brian, my boy. He's here. He's ready to send that red eyes from the hand to the grave. The special summon himself. He's also ready to send an effect monster to the grave to put a red eyes on the field. He's also ready to exceed summon and put those two level sevens together to summon a red eyes flare metal dragon. He's ready to attack for 3000 and then use flares effect to summon back red eyes from the grave to strike at 26 of those things. And did I forget to flip this over? Or did I forget to use this with the free red eyes I summoned? Don't worry about it. We'll just keep going with this explanation. Now, we have another monster, my boy. Fusilar the Dragon. Fusilar Dragon, the dual mode beast. I was gonna call him Fusilar Dragon, the dual mode, the dual mode beast. He's ready to duel 3D mode though. This card is disgusting. Why? Because I just showed you a special summon level seven monster I can drop for free. Here's another special summon level seven monster, Prismatic, I'll drop him for free. Here's a normal summon. Here's a special summon. Do you see the thing? Easily level seven, drop, 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 drop from the hand to the field, go bananas. Now, the final piece here to the puzzle, outside of the obvious red eye, which I'm using a particular mix of a prismatic uh, dark side of dimensions red eyes, a prismatic OG red eyes, and a plain red eyes to send to the graveyard or banish with the malefic or red eyes in sight. That's just how I like to set it up. But here it is, bread and butter of the deck. Mecha, Phantom, Beast, Tether Wolf. This card is disgusting. You normal summon this card, it creates a broken token. While a broken token is on the field, this monster's attack becomes level seven. While this card's attack is level seven, you can exceed summon it with your special summon monsters like Maleficent, Malefic, <laughs> Red Eyes Black Dragon, Cosmic Brian, and Lord Gaia. You can use all these to exceed, but we're not going to Red Eyes, no. We are going directly to the Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, which is absolutely disgusting. Because when I normal summon this card, I got a free token. So my Draco Sack is going to get to pop one card on the field for free. Because it doesn't cost Exceeds Materials to destroy a card. It just costs Exceeds Materials to do what? Place tokens on the field, my boy. So you're going to go ahead, summon out Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, sack a token, pop a card, drop some more tokens, pass the turn with what set? <laughs> Ballista Squad, though. Use Ballista Squad, pop. Go ahead and next turn, use your Draco Sack. The next token, pop. Add the tokens. Tribute them both for a Red Eyes monster. Get that brick out your hand into the field. Or do something else. If you got Econ in this deck, Econ take. But let me tell you, in the place of Econ, there was, I mean, nothing else but this. Forbidden Lance. I fumbled it. I was gonna say something different, but I fucked it up. Anyway, listen, Forbidden Lance. I was using Econ in his place. I was using many other cards in his place, but no cards slap in this deck like Forbidden Lance because this is a control deck. This is a OTK deck. This deck will last many turns but it can be ruined with a floodgate, a regeki break, a karma cut, etc. Lots of destruction avoiding in this deck, no protection from spells and traps. So we get Forbidden Lance in there to protect our creatures and our combos, to make sure that we can stop our opponent from playing cards, but also we do have Belisa Squad to back up to bang bang with that back row. So there's tons of free monsters to be summoned using cards like this and using cards like this. And in addition, we have Belisa Squad to exploit those free monsters to get in there for game. Now, I didn't talk about the couple other spells that I have here, which are Silver Cry and uh, Red Eye Spirit. Now, I'm using Silver Cry with the obvious combo of Red Eye's Insight to send the Red Eyes to the grave to Silver Cry it back to continue my Xyz combos, obvious, but I'm also using it to grab this. Red Eyes, give me your effect, monster. Give it here, suck, it's over. It get, it's over here, take it. This card is amazing, it's great, and I'm having really, 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 really 
really, really having a lot of fun making people scoop to this card. But this deck is so disgusting that you just got to see it in action, my boy. So many unique cards that can all be level seven in so many unique situations has led me to minimal bricks. Deck can brick, obviously, because you got three vanilla flavored bricks right in there. So it'll be impossible to say that the deck doesn't brick clearly. But I mean, hey, it is what it is, my boy. And if you run one lucky straight in your deck, you're never gonna miss. So enjoy the rest of the video, my boys, and stay tuned to the end for the bonus clap. And have a dank evening. All right, my boys, this first duel is against Yami Yugi. And I really gotta tell you, honestly, this duel is disgusting. One of the biggest um, problems that I was having while building this deck and trying to make it better is that a lot of people are playing Tri-Mids and Tri-Mids are just so toxic when it came to this deck and other builds that I had that were inferior. But this new build with Forbidden Lance has given me enough firepower to actually defeat tri -Miz and to defeat other mainstream powerful decks. So right now, as I told you, Forbidden Lance has been the key, but also diversifying the level seven monsters within the deck so that it doesn't break. All right, so we starting off with Lord Gaia, Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf. Exceed summon, just like I told you, very smoothly into Draco Sack. Draco Sack is here with the free token. That means we're gonna be going bang bang with something. Here comes Fiendish Chain. Here goes my Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance stopped the entire play, and, ha and now uh, Draco Sack is gonna help me gain advantage over my opponent. Now he's gonna do his shenanigans where he's moving his fields in and out. And you already know that tri -Mids are gonna be a problem because it's not necessarily that tri -Mids are so good and that their effects are so broken. It's that guy, tri -Mids Sphinx. This man can come out at 4,000 attack points and ruin your day, but not against this deck, my boy. First off, he got Belize the squad to force him out on our terms, my boy. Now it's my turn. Now we're gonna use our effect to destroy him, but he obviously can do sexy field spell jutsu to negate destruction. But he can't negate this. The summoning of my red eyes, the equipping of my red eyes fang with chain, and now the game is mine. By taking away the tri mid sphinx, most tri mid players only have one tri mid sphinx in the whole deck. They all kind of play around their entire deck to drop the one tri mid sphinx, and I get it. This card can be a little bricky, but at the end of the day, my boy, it's only one of them. So if you can manage to take that card away from them and not keep it in the grave, you can win the duel. But right here, there's nothing this man can do. I have my my Draco sack sacking off to pop one more card in the back row, and he realizes that it's scoop time, my boy. This deck is disgusting. On to the next one. Also on this ladder, cancer comes in many forms, and I had no idea that that is what I'd be facing right here in this duel. Apparently, people are playing cancer and tilt in various uh, decks and various characters. I had no idea that that's what I was coming up against, but I see that he left his field wide open, so I decided to go right in for a double attack. So here comes the Malefic Red Eyes for free and the normal summoning of my dual mode beast, XC Shokan. Now earlier you saw me use Red Eyes Insight to place the Red Eyes Black Dragon into the graveyard. That's one in the grave, one banished, and one in the deck. We're gonna go ahead and attack for three Gs, and guess what? He's got the Veil. Veil's not a problem for us. Take your effect damage, my boy, and I'm summoning Red Eyes from the grave for free because that is my right as a Red Eyes Exceeds Duelist, my boy. Now we're gonna come in for game. He's gonna try to avoid damage, but guess what? My Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon makes him pay for every move. He tributes for Lava Golem is nothing. Do you not see the Tether Wolves within my hand? Do you not see the Belisa Squad set? Do you not see the Forbidden Lance? Get out of here. All right, my boys, just like in any other video, there's always one guy that's just struggling to read, and you know what card they're gonna struggle to read against. It's your boy, Draco Sec. Let me, um, uh, let me go ahead and just remind you, my boy, when you're using Mecha Phantom Beast, Mecha Phantom Beast monsters cannot be destroyed as long as there's a token on the field. 
So if a token is on the field, you should try to destroy the token first. And if you try to destroy the, both the token and the monster at the same time, you will fail at destroying the monster and succeed at destroying the token. Now, has Dual School been uh, properly introduced? I hope that you have fully received this lesson because you're gonna see and understand why these people do not understand the, the core message of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is reading. He attacks directly into our beast, leaving both tokens available. We're gonna go ahead and punish him, pop the token, and give him a little 14. No destiny draw, feel the pain. Oh, sorry. He scooped. Of these duels, I would really consider that tri -mid duel, the cancer duel, and uh, this particular duel, blue eyes, white dragon duel, as like three common deck duels. We'll see relentlessly on the ladder, especially here in Platinum Hell on Animal Planet, my boy. But the Blue Eyes White Beat Stick deck is a pretty good deck, but you can see how I opened up with this hand. The dankest of Cosmo Brian, a Tether Wolf, a Red Eyes in hand, my boy. We're all set. Now, this is a classic match Blue Eyes White Dragon versus Red Eyes, Kaiba versus Kaiba, Power versus Potential, Skiulu versus. Maniac. Let's see, my boy, who will come and be victorious. We're gonna start off with Cosmic Brian. Cosmic Brian is gonna set up the field to summon Tether Wolf. Tether Wolf is gonna put down a token. We're gonna hit the Xyz to summon forth the mighty Red Eyes Flare Dragon. And using the Belisa Squad, we're gonna control the field. Here comes Karma Cut. That's disgusting. We anticipated it. So we're gonna quickly summon back a red eyes from the grave. Our beast is removed and we've got 26 of those things on damage. Police the squad, get that beast up out of here and top deck the insight to search deck for what? The chain, my boy. Can you see my chain? And he's out of here off chain. That's how disgusting this deck is, my boy. I love it so much because it just, mm. Now, if you've waited this long and sat here and watched these entire replays my boy guess what you're now entitled to some bonus clap all right my boy i'm fighting literally against the triple d in this duel and you guys always seem to enjoy the spicy content that i put up and especially the bonus clap so if you're down here watching this bonus clap touch that like button for crushing a man's nine game win streak let's go peak performance because we're getting in there and you know what this is cyber style trash now i was experimenting with cards like card of the red stone just one and also more than one uh silver cry found that that brick too much so i got rid of it but in this um particular duel it didn't really matter much because the only thing we're doing is ending this man's career based on what he played now he thinks he's gonna get an easy cyber whatever whatever and attack for game He's got a nine game win streak. There's tons of hubris. He wants to get this over, get the 10 and go for the win. Now don't get me wrong, this was a beautiful hand, a nice immaculate setup, but just right here, he got a little outplayed and I'm gonna show you how. He set his field up, he activated Fusion Gate, which is haha -ha Fusion Gate. Then he gets ready to use Fusion Gate, but guess what, my boy? I've got the Belisa squad ready and the token ready to go. I'm like, um, tokens, can we get over, get over there and crush that motherfucking Fusion Gate button? And he's like, um, Roger, Roger. That shit's up out of here, and he's gone, my boy. His heart attack is activated. He's out of it. Bonus clap. And this is against a literal cringe boy. <laughs> so this is gonna be pretty interesting to me. Testing out this deck, I got a lot of interesting duels and good matches. So if you follow me out here in these streets, GG. But here comes a, a, a spicy OTK example. Um, I was finally able to hit somebody with a spicy OTK. Cause most of the time I go for control type hands and don't overextend. But I can go for the OTK here. So here we go. Send the red eyes from the deck, summon the Malefic. Then use Silver Cry to bring back the Red Eyes from the inside. Then send off the Red Eyes to summon Cosmo. Then Exceeds. Now we're gonna hit up this Exceeds and who are we gonna summon? It's the Red Eyes Flare Dragon, my boy. And we're not done. Because the Red Eyes Flare Dragon is gonna let us summon another monster from the grave. And did you forget that the Malefic Red Eyes 
Did you forget that the Malefic Red Eye? Did you forget that the Malefic Red Eye is not a once per turn? Here he is. Gaia. Look at this field. Look at this field. Never before in the history of duelings has a duelist been so mad. But to summon the Red Eyes Black Dragon, the Red Eyes Malefic Dragon, and the Red Eyes Black Dragon all in one turn to clap one duelist. Say goodnight, cringe boy. We've hit up our Xyz. Here's our Gaia Thunder Charger slapping into Kid Moto. Kid Moto. Okay. Dragon Spirit of White for my back row and no cards in hand. That's pretty freaking busted. Considering this is my back row. All right. But I still got an attack, so you're gonna take a little damage. And we're gonna go ahead and crush that monster. But look at this 30 card atrocity, 1100 points down on Cringe Boy. We've got our field set up, and he, he's kinda in a rough spot. He can only make a few moves, or he's gonna be in trouble. So you mean to tell me this man's all hand traps and kid motos? What the fuck? Deep Eyes White Dragon, which is gonna come out and deal me 1200 damage. But in turn, I'm gonna give him 250. We're gonna see who's the damage dealer. Look at me, I'm the damage dealer. Look, oh, take some more damage, please. Draw, summon, and then right here he realizes, oh shit, I'm screwed. This card can't do anything, it's a level 10. This card is a freaking level one. If it gets targeted, a bunch of shenanigans are gonna happen, but it doesn't matter. This man can literally only survive three things. Let's just go, my boy. He's out of here. So I hope you enjoyed these corporate claps. I hope you understand that the red eyes is not one to be ignored. Don't sleep on this deck because the red eyes flare metal dragon is really good, but hey, don't just jump into the selection box trying to spend up all your bread trying to get this dang beast. Wait for it to be released, my boy. But this is a good card. So catch me in the next video, and I'll see you there. Bye.